Good morning, America. It's 9 o'clock. My 8.30 class was canceled, so I'm taking a time lapse of the flag and the clouds and, and all that because cause America, you know? So Trump was elected, I think. I, don't, I think he won. I don't really keep up with it, but I'm pretty sure he won. And that could either go really, really good or really, really bad. Now, I read that the stock market could crash and we could go into the Great Depression again. But we get to keep our guns. you're watching this on Thursday, it's Wednesday right now, for me, but you're watching this on Thursday, and that's different, because I normally post on Saturday, so what's happening? Well, we'll talk about that later. I gotta go to class. Let's talk um, about cameras. You might know that I'm a photography major. I mentioned a few weeks ago that I'm gonna need a film camera and I got one. Um, I'm not gonna need it for class until next semester, but I w I've always kind of wanted one anyway and I wanted to start shooting and get used to it and learn how to use it and um, get, get the basics down before I take a class on it. Um, so I'm a little bit ahead. And so far it's been super fun. Um, now this one is a Olympus OM-1 and it's completely mechanical, completely manual. There's no electronics to it except for the light meter, um, which there's an on off switch right there. And that you see that through the viewfinder in there. Um, and that's the only electronic thing about it. I could, I could use it without it, except that um, I'm not that proficient with it. Um, and it came with two lenses and a two times magnifier for the lenses. Um, it came with a 135 millimeter, um, let's see, 135 millimeter, 3.5, and a 28 millimeter, 2.8. Nope, 3.5, sorry. Um, and both of those lenses are pretty awesome. And then Obviously the two times magnifier with the 135 bumps it up to 270 and it actually doesn't work with the 28 millimeter for whatever reason. Um, but that's pretty much useless anyway because it's meant to be a wide angle lens. And then obviously it came with the standard 50 millimeter that normally comes with it. Um, and I got it all for $85, which is a huge deal um, considering everything works perfectly. Um, except one thing about the 135 is it doesn't it doesn't go all the way down to 3.5. If you know anything about cameras, that's the that's the aperture. The aperture doesn't stop down all the way to 3.5. Um, so I've shot already one roll of film, and that was Fuji film um, Fuji Color Pro 400H. And so that's ISO 400 film, um, and I've sh it has uh, 36 exposures, and I've shot all of them um, over about eight days. And I think if if I did everything right and um, I set everything up right, they should be pretty cool pictures. Um, I think I got some good ones as long as I did my part. Um, and it's a whole learning experience. I didn't really. Um, 
take notes on what settings I used on each of the pictures, which I'm going to do with my next roll of film just so that I can go back and reference them and see what I did wrong and, and stuff like that. With this, I'll just know that I did something wrong. I won't know what I did wrong. I had a ton of fun shooting these pictures, and the cool thing to me about shooting film is you, you'd have to take your time and you have to plan out a shot. You have to make sure that shot's going to be a good shot and then you take the shot or you might not take the shot because you decide that it, it wasn't going to be worth using that one exposure that you have for that shot. Um, and I really like that because it makes, you, it makes you stop and think and not just take 500 pictures and pick two that are good. You, you take two good pictures. Um, so I think that's really cool about film and hopefully they turn out good but the next roll of film that I'm gonna use to shoot on is uh, Fujifilm Velvia 100 and it's actually slide film and the difference between that you can look it up but slide film is a little more difficult to shoot on um, because the margin of error is much less um, with that with with the with the 400h pro i can make a little bit of a mistake and you won't really notice it um, with this it pretty much needs to be perfect which is just to me more of a challenge um, and i may mess some up even more with this one than i did that one um, but it's a huge learning experience for me um, and i think shooting on film is definitely going to teach me a lot and um, I, re I really like it so far but yeah, so um, I've got the 50 millimeter lens on there right now. Let's see. The film is not in there yet. But now we're gonna go around and take a few pictures. This isn't the best um, place to to take pictures. Um, we'll go a few other places uh, later in another, on another day. The, the lower the ISO, the less grainy it's going to be. So this is going to be good for landscapes and well really anything if I can, you know, do it properly. But yeah, it should be a cool adventure. So let's go see how it comes out. So I took the first picture, I took two pictures because it was still, it was on the dot before one and I don't know if it doesn't, I don't know. But um, I took two pictures of the horse um, with the, the 135 with the two times zoom on it, puts it up to 270 and, and I wasn't like super zoomed in on it but I could get it with a little bit of the surroundings to kind of give a you know, perspective of where it was and what it was doing. Um, there's a bird. Um, but yeah, so I got a picture of the horse with the, because this isn't the most photogenic place. Ooh, maybe the moon? Uh, not during the day. Uh, what I mentioned earlier about me posting on Thursday instead of Saturday like normal. Well, I think I'm going to start doing two videos a week. And I'm, I want to do that because well, one, I just love making videos, and it gets me active, gets me doing stuff, gets me uh, motivated to do more stuff. Um, and also, making one video a week was kind of boring, because I would make it on Saturday, and then I would edit it usually Sunday afternoon or Monday, and then it would be in the queue to post that next Saturday. So it was just this huge long 
waiting period. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope I didn't bore you too much with the camera stuff and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit like and if you want to see more camera stuff, comment down below. Um, and I, I, there will be more camera stuff in the next coming semesters. It's just going to get even more and more. I'm going to I'm going to get even more and more involved with photography. Um, so if you want to see more, comment down below if you like it and if, what you might want to see. Um, I might do kind of some lessons and stuff once I figure this out for myself. Um, but once I get the the film back from being developed on the first roll of film that I shot, I'll definitely show you guys and kind of show you what I did wrong and what I might have done awesomely right. Who knows? And I'll definitely be posting those pictures on my Instagram once once I get the digital copies, digital scans of them. Um, so go follow my Instagram. I'll leave a link down in the description. And thanks for watching. Um, hit like, hit subscribe. See you next time.